Most of the time I love being single. I am very comfortable being single, but tonight I hung out with friends and I had a great time and then I was driving home and I started feeling this like wave of depression and anxiety and I I wasn't really sure what it was related to or where it was stemming from and then I, I got home and I felt like just so sad and lonely and I walked into my empty apartment and I thought God I wish that I had someone who could just hold me right now like I wish that I had someone who could just take care of me because I have to take care of myself every single day and it's fucking exhausting and I just want someone to take care of me every now and then nice. I'm going to be straight with you about this, and I wish I had someone to tell me these things when I was growing up. Please don't waste the prime years of your life pursuing women and wasting your time, energy, and resources. If you're in your early 20s or your early 30s, you need to do everything you possibly can to build yourself up, financially, physically, emotionally, mentally, and socially. The age gap, though, depends on the age of the man. So, um, so we can document this. So in my studies, what we found is that men preferred women who were about three to four years younger than they were on average. Uh, and I'll qualify this in a second. Women preferred guys who were about three and a half to four and a half years older than, than they were. So there was a sex difference going in the opposite direction. Science says the women in your age bracket are not appropriate for you. Human nature says that too. Society says that as well. Just look around. You'll never truly blend in with them. If you're 30 and you're looking at girls between the ages of 30 and 35, you're using the wrong approach. Let me explain why. Because women age and mature more quickly than men, women reach their peak at the age of 22, whilst men do so at the age of 35. A female will therefore be between the ages of 20 and 25 when she is at her most gorgeous. She will desire to date successful men during this time. She will be looking for the guy with the highest SMV, the nicest appearance, and the biggest income at this moment. Yet, if you're a guy in your early 30s and you're observing ladies who are also in their early 30s, you won't be in sync with those women. So, I met this guy on a dating app and he told me he was interested in a long-term relationship. And um, we instantly clicked. He started coming, taking me on dates. Um, I introduced him to my friends. Everybody really liked him. They said he was super nice, super great guy. I met some of his friends. Um, but like there were some red flags, the love bombing. He came on really strong, but I just thought it's because we had a really good connection. Anyways, um, he slowly, slowly started to show me different signs of himself. Ghosting, not showing up to dates, and then coming up with these really elaborate excuses as to why. One of them, oh, I was in the hospital, my back really hurt. Another one, oh, sorry, my friend's mom had a heart attack. I had food poisoning. It's like, oh, okay, did the dog eat your homework? So I just started to back away from him. And the more I backed away from him, the more he pushed himself onto me. Like he didn't want me to be with anybody else. He didn't want to let me go. And every time I tried to get away from him, he came back. It's like, no, things are going to change. I'm so sorry. This is what happened. I do this. And it's like, he became totally like apologetic and, you know, telling me all the things that I wanted to hear. So anyways, um, it increasingly got to the point where I just couldn't take his lies. Like I knew he was lying. So I decided I was going to break things off. He didn't like that, you know, continually trying to message me. So, you know, I was kind of like thinking, oh, maybe he is changing because he was like, you know, I've been going to therapy and I really think that you should give me another chance. I really want to make this work. You're the person I want to be with. Um, I want to marry you. I want us to really start over. And so like he kind of was wearing me down a bit, but... I hadn't, um, I hadn't allowed him back into my life. Fast forward, I get, um, this weekend, I get an email from his wife. And she told me, you know, um, I've seen messages between the two of you and I'm his wife. 
this man has been telling me one thing, living two separate lives. Um, he's married, married with a two year old. I didn't know any of that. And um, she told me there's many others and this is a game for him, you know, come to find out he's a narcissist and he is preying on women like me. <sighs> this is dating in your forties. This is, this is what it's about. It has just been a really big eye opener. Because women in their thirties and forties are primarily looking to settle down. They know their SMV is on the decline. They don't look their best and they don't feel their best. They know their biological clock is ticking. And believe me, that clock is something that is on their mind all the time. Scientifically, a metaphor known as the biological clock is used to describe the pressure many people experience to conceive during the prime of their reproductive years. Although most people's fertility starts to drop in their mid-30s, becoming pregnant later in life is still possible, but gets more difficult with every passing year. Trauma, we want someone with less trauma, so let's go for someone as young as possible. A healthy, emotionally stable 22-year-old is not usually physically attracted to a 45-year-old or even a 40-year-old. A 22-year-old tends to see a 35-year-old as an old man, yeah? But when she starts to blur the line with older men and sexuality, it suggests that there is some childhood trauma potentially regarding her father. Because the reality... So, when I say that a guy in his early 30s shouldn't be seeking to date or attract a woman of the same age because the guy has just started to become financially stable, he has just reached his prime, he is just starting to build his empire, and any wrong move in the dating department can cost him his future because women of your age will never be in the same alignment as you. So it makes practical sense for guys in their early 30s to seek girls in their early 20s, if they really want to do so, or just cannot resist being with a woman. Both are at their prime. The man is successful, and the girl is at her peak SMV. It's a natural match. Unlike guys in their early 20s trying to pursue girls of the same age, because guys at that age are goofs. They don't know what they want to become or do in their lives. They are high on their own hormones and want to have fun, party, travel, or take out time to study further so that they can figure out what they want to do. I'll give you some examples of the ladies that these young men pursue. I want you to pay close attention. It's astonishing what these young women are telling these young men to do to acquire a tiny bit of tail and ask. These young men are lost. My guiding principle is to be a gentleman, but be cautious. Why? because there will be a lot of older, immature ladies who will approach you, especially in your mid-twenties. They will know that you're young, stupid, and full of fun, so they'll hurl themselves at you because of that. And this can be women in their early thirties or even women in their early forties. These can be divorced ladies, ladies who were too busy with their careers, and even women who are now mothers without the support of a husband to take care of their children. So, if you're naive and you end up getting serious with these women, you will then be required to pay child support. Therefore, you cannot botch things up given these years. If you can make it through these challenging years, you will be well on your way to creating the life you desire. And if you want to, you can go backward to the younger girls. It's easy. However, some people don't agree with this formula. That doesn't make any sense now. Why would a 30-year-old man want a lady who is 19 years old? Why would a 45-year-old man desire a lady who is 22 years old? First of all, since that's how we operate. The second reason is that those women are for me, okay? The women my age aren't for me because they have already had a good time in their prime years. They had fun with their friends and their dates during the last decade. But perhaps the most important reason why men between the ages of 18 and 30 need to not chase women of their own age group is that women will want to settle down while the man will only be building up his life. Eventually, if they do get serious, the man will do everything he possibly can to make his woman happy. This means he will spend his hard-earned money to dates, travel, and on rent, and other expenses. This is money that he could have otherwise invested or saved. And no matter how much he spends on the woman, she will remain ungrateful because she will expect more. Remember, she's had her fun. She's had her time going around her block in her prime years, and now she wants to settle down. If the man doesn't provide for her now, she will lose interest in him in a blink of an eye. She will move on to the next guy lingering around the dark corners of her social media universe to spend his money on her. So, all of this puts a lot of pressure on guys to be financially stable at an age where they should be building an empire, but are paying for expensive dates and designer handbags for women. 
and the worst part is that there will be a lot of men in such situations where they'll be asked to take care of the needs of not only the woman, but also her children if she's already had them. Society will totally support the women in such a scenario, adding to the pressure on the man to forego of everything he wants for himself, and instead work day and night to fund the life of the woman. Guys, I hope you understand. Please make the most of these crucial years to improve yourself and become independent, self-assured and confident in your own abilities. Be considerate. Raising your levels of tolerance and patience will help you avoid blaming others for even the smallest problems. So, guys need to understand that when they're finally settling into their careers in their 30s, it's never a good idea to date women of the same age. This is because women in the same age group are going to be looking to settle down and have children right away. They're going to be nearing their biological clocks and looking for men to have babies with. The guys who have just settled down will be in for some sad times if they choose to settle down with women in the same age group. Therefore, it's best for guys in their 30s to date women who are in their prime in their 20s. So that even if they do want to settle down, they can settle down with a woman who hasn't wasted away her prime years and will eventually spend them with him. Now is the time to make friends who have big goals and visions, who dream big, and who are working and striving to make a global impact through their own business ideas, or even through corporations. Now is the time to invest in your health. Make sure you eat right and work out regularly to keep your health in check and build a body that you can be proud of when you see yourself in the mirror every day. This is the time to invest and the time to make sure you multiply your streams of income so that you're never too dependent on any one stream of income. This is the time to read books, converse with people, and solidify the emotional control that you need throughout your life to handle stressful situations and difficult people. Because you see, you will come across many people who love to point fingers and play petty politics, even when they don't need to. Those are the people who eventually face the wrath of karma and end up digging holes for themselves. So just do your thing, work hard, learn from whatever you do, and use that learning to build something up for yourselves. If you stop to look at every dog that barks at you, you're no different than that dog. Trust me, take control of your desires now, and you will not regret it later on. You will attract even better women when you're a strong and successful man who knows what he's doing and is settled in life as a self-assured human being. So don't worry about women. Build yourself up first, solidify your foundations, and then seek the woman you want to date or spend the rest of your life with. Thanks for watching The Circle of Kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support, so please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything all kings like yourself need to know.